in the server today. Oh, there's just, yeah, you've got two of the most unbridled aggressive players and two pairs of jewelies in the mix. A lot of nades as Over well. Look at what's B as well. This is going to be 60 bullets right. to hold down cave. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But check out how much nades Astralis are bringing into the mix as well. Look at this crossfire. One expert odds are just favoring Fury here and Astralis are posturing towards this B exec. If they smoke off cave, they can completely remove Safe and Yuri from the picture here. That's a good play. Oh, yeah. they've just changed the smoke lineup. So. Two smokes in play. There's one. There's the other. Oh, they want to go deep CT, maybe. Here it comes. Smokes are in. Yeah, deep CT smoke thrown out. So Drop is going to have full vision and missed his first opportunity. He's in trouble. Offensive smoke. That's just a bonus for Astralis. Bombs already down. They got themselves into the site. And those two pairs of jewelies have done nothing. Drop tested. Overrun. There's Yuri now delivers with the jewelies. Safe still lies in wait in cave. Yuri wrapping around. They'll have some pressure points here. The smokes have faded. And it's Zipex who does catch CT. Lots of damage inflicted. R falls as well to the Zip Glock. And it seems to have concluded before Safe even gets to play the game. Astralis, that looked regimented. Yeah, perfect pistol right there to deal with those jewelies. They didn't even get to use what they were designed for, right? If you try and push through Cave with multiple bodies, they can both keep spamming away with the jewel berettas and lock you out. Well, they go around the world, they avoid you, and Zip deals with that close choke point. Yuri's going to grab one, sure, but this is it. The smoke fades, and they have to be in a bottleneck position behind it. So Astralis, a beautiful way to kick things off here within the quarterfinals. And they are going to get their buy on through. Some Galils, and AK-47, some MAC-10s up against Art and a Swag-7, the only real investment into this round of play. Well, it only took us two rounds to start talking about Art and his hijinks. The uh, MAG-7 second round solo force, as they like to describe it. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, yeah you see this one every day of the week. Now, he has been held at bay by that cave smoke thrown out from spawn by the Danes. The top mid smoke as well in play and double Molotovs to clear out caves. So nobody's going to be in roost up close and personal. You can call them many things, but Thara should be on that list. Astralis have cleared out first step of cave. Yeah, if Blame goes around this corner, he might get baited in by the pistols, right? If they just yeah. pepper away, he goes, oh, maybe I can get a kill or two. And here's Art. This is ballsy from Art. Unscathed by the nade, at least not too much to report. Say from the flash, he could get a frag hit. Flame, bang, into the belly. Shouldn't be much more to celebrate for Furia. They have lost the sight, and well, that long range Mag 7 with no armor's got very few options. I have to fight his way out here, Art. Config, brave. And Art does get another one. Farley meets him, and now Yuri does go cleared. Okay, Serato looking for a Zeus frag. And that's not to be. Okay, well, the fact that Art gets two kills there, it's all good. He's actually fine for the buy. He has more money than he probably would have if he took the eco. So, works out better for Art. Gets a couple kills on the board and can even bring out the glass cannon. Now, he's opted to drop that to save. So, save is going to get armor and an AWP off of these two kills. We have to really pay attention to how much impact we're going to see behind this. And Art's going to be doing a bit of a Mopoz cosplay here today. Operating with an M4 and nothing else. Right. Sure. Glaive's only kept jewelies as well. So, we're getting fruity early here today. I'm up for it, and Art's going to be spamming smokes. The beauty of that silenced M4 is the lack of traces. Hard to pinpoint where they're coming from. Just uh, to note here, as the game continues forward, we will see the top red house smoke and the cave smoke again. Astralis have done that in back-to-back -back rounds, and that nade does so much Ooh. damage due to the lack of armor there onto Art. Yeah, he is really... What? Banged out, and look at the space config is taking. This is quick. It's a weird smoke, but it does work out. They're going to smoke off both sides. Both of them are a little bit funky, aren't they? There's gaps on either of them. Glaive will just retain this position, but it draws drop closer. Oh, look at that minimap. Now, Astralis have got such a stranglehold on B if they desire. Like, you want to rotate, you want to support, you just can't. Safe has the AWP there. If they go for an A split right now, that is the wrong call. Safe is over towards the big box, and Case Rod is pushed up into A main. B would be the right decision. If they go in towards A, it's going to be difficult. Drop has to live. They are heading towards A. Drop. Your life means so much, does deliver onto Glaive. Save, this is what he's been waiting for. They set him up, lets it go. They're slipping the net now. Two of them spraying him down a smoke to divide. Hoping case Serato can conquer, does put the bomb loose. Looks like Astralis have walked straight into their trap. Yeah, this is a rough one now. It's just zip, last man alive, 38 seconds left on the clock and damage needs to be name of the game. Drop, stepping up in a big way here. I think he may have been spotted, Zip. It's going to be a matter of time. Steps on out, safe gets the kill. And that's the first round here for the Brazilian side, Furia, on the board. And you could see that going wrong, right? They, they had the rotation point, and I assume at this juncture they're expecting more players over towards B, right? Traditionally a 3-1-1. One, one. Well, it was a bit more of a 2-1-2. Two, two. And drop with a double kill here. Important frags to make, and always some awkward angles to duel upon. 
Safe with a nice one after he missed the initial and the follow-up. So Safe and Drop, the two newer boys of the team with a pair of peas, a pair of peas even. A pair of peas wouldn't get you very far, would they? No. Uh, not if they're under a mattress either. Miss Molly there. Yeah, Blame's got space and pace. Fury takes it out of his sails. Lovely shut down. And actually, yeah, just a defensive smoke. I wouldn't dare run through that. Oh, and this one here is looking done and dusted already. So the light investment of Astralis falls flat. Next round, 1900 as the loss bonus. And uh, well, they, they didn't opt to force buy into this one, right? So, so next round, there, it's going to be a couple of emissions as far as the buy goes, but they will be able to get a buy nonetheless. Have you found that, especially with Ancient, when you cast Ancient, it makes you want to play Ancient? Well, this is the thing, right? I, I, when I'm watching the map more and more, you're seeing the teams adjusting the meta. Yeah. Like consistently, like it isn't the same. There's always something different when you when you watch this map of play. That's a nice shot from Zip, and and I I, I like the fact that we have seen the CTs go so aggressive with so much mid utility, B lane utility and control, and now the T's adjust. They play more passive. They wait it out. They can play the mid rounds. You saw the pressure from Astralis in the previous go round towards top mid. So starting to take advantage of some of those tendencies. Yeah, I really think that players have got a really nice approach on their T side, and Art is coming just on a timing to finish off Zip. I think it says a lot that Valve haven't uh, adapted this map as much as they did Vertigo. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason for that. I don't know what the reason is, but uh, apparently they do. And as the teams play it more, you can see the map uh, adjusting ever so. And we will get back into the buys. Astralis light with two Galils, three AKs, and well, there's enough util to go around. You're right, though. In terms of how quickly the iterations of Virgo changed, it was a very, like, a... Uh, well, every two months or something. But a very yeah. polarizing map. A lot of people really having issues with some of the earlier iterations, and it seems to have found a middle ground. You can see Nock at that deep in center. They haven't opted to smoke it, so that's a, just a, a light timer. Art will not be able to have answers for the presence in mid as, as it stands. They're happy to give it up, right, because they are playing this more 2-1-2 two, two defense. If they were playing the 3-1-1 one, one that I was talking about, then mid becomes a problem, and, and maybe then you have to be concerned. But look how passive Art is immediately, all the way over towards CT spawn. Caserato tucked in towards Donut. So this is a, one of the more passive setups that you can rock on the CT side of Ancient. I guess the luxury is Caserato can call now the smokes have faded just as a little bit of a canary in the coal mine now the slow crawl out mid this is always interesting to me yeah given the room what do you do with it right do, do you try and push the issue do you play for the red house lurk do you just operate well it's clear we don't know what stance they have on the other side a deep donut smoke this is going to put Caserato into question when it's deep like this you have to worry about the lurk out or the left or the right so two avenues created by the deeper smoke and config will start the crawl towards top mid as the rest of his team are setting up for a beer exec Interesting. And it does seem like Arthur's edged a little further towards B this time on the boost. A variation, isn't it? Yeah. Just using the box as a bit of cover there. Certainly not going to be pre-aimed as commonly. Look how many nades they've held on to here. Still smoke for Caserato, smoke for drop, full utility for safe right now. Yep. They can defend against this. Let's see how they handle it. Smoke is up. That will force them forward, it seems. Have to run through, boys. 25, oh, they tagged him. They know Art's closed. The flash is good. Art's still allowed to take down one. Kept there by the flames, a little more chip damage delivered. They are low on time. The boost could be everything. The boost could be everything. Get him up. Spray is there, but no bomb plant yet. Ten seconds. The bomb's still coming. Ten seconds, fellas. And Blame, down, out, drop, doubles. Looking for the triple. Farley doesn't have the time nor the round. Unless Caserato goes down, he's fine. There you have it. Furia will take themselves a third round. And their positioning and setup does look very unique. Yeah, it might need some adjustments here early from Astralis. They need to have identified the fact that so much util is being held onto. That top ramp smoke dropped at 30 seconds. Look how stifling that was. It just constricted any options Astralis had. The Danes had to run on through. There was no way back. The only way forward here and drop again with a lot of impact. So liking what we're seeing out of the young gun here early. And this goes so wrong if a stray bullet hits Yuri. You know, like the base of that tower, if it did come tumbling down just a moment soon, a drop would not be doubling up in the way he did. Lovely play. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Caserato for now is going to be joining Art through mid. Donut will be their response. They may not hear this, though. No one is in Donut. No one will hear the fast steps of Astralis. Smokes are in the sky, though. There's a tower. Uh oh Oh, okay, Serato, what have you got for us? He throws a little smoke to place around. Nicely placed. May slow them down. Look at the rotation. It's Farley. already here. Look at him. Farley is really wound through. They may not be ready for him. Tucked into the temple. The layer. And this gets worse and worse for Astralis now. Fumbling with the boost. The bomb's got across the big box. But Glaive's got 20 HP. Hoping for a frag to be given to them. Her config is posted up. Caserato well drilled and good damage inflicted. That boosted rifle now on 4 HP. Needed that one. Caserato's got help though. And it's as easy as pie. He does mow them down. And 
Unison with Yuri, and they have five hearts still beaten, so very much a win in the Furia book. And there was a change from the Furia CT defense. They actually played aggressive mid with multiple members to shut down an early mid push, so there was an adjustment, and their protocols to respond to the A play was perfect. Art didn't feel stressed to push through the smoke. Kate Serato isolated fights that he was comfortable with and safe in charge of these long corridors. You wait out those early smokes, well, at this point, Astralis are stranded. They're on an island, they have no help, and they just get picked apart. We will see the pistols come out now for the Danes in a hole four to two, a two round lead early here for Furia, and they are looking good, picking up where they left off within that group stage. Yeah, they're not letting off the gas. Careful now, Art. He is feeling frisky. And we talked about them holding on to their util. Here you can see his reluctance to drop the smoke, and instead just taking a couple of fights, keeping him. Oh my god, he's gonna move him down. Oh, and Yuri combined for a 4k. Only one left, Zip and his P250 to be run on down. And we got five already on the board for Furia. This is great. This is fantastic work earlier, and we've seen variations. So at this point, Astralis are behind the eight ball, right? The ones who are dictating the play right now are Furia, and that seems a little bit silly to say, but the CT side, they're the ones that seem to be making a bit more of these distinct choices. Whereas Astralis, they haven't really had enough gun rounds to do so. It's five on the trot, no plan in any of the five, and Astralis will eventually be able to bring out the AWP in the hands of Farley. So we'll get to see him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with safe on the other side of things. But that AWP back over towards A, posting up big box, Case Rod and Art locking down mid, and look how aggressive Art is. Happy to swing behind the mollies, happy to take these fights. He Jump loves up. it, yeah. I mean, just the, the freedom that having lane control gives you. You have that ledge. You looks like Farley's going searching into Safe's orb. He's gone for an elevated angle here. Big box angle, and they've got one too. Oh, toes. Safe. Oh, booked. Farley catches him on the crouch, and now A should be open. Caserato called upon. It's difficult to scale quickly onto A without Util. And Util is something Astralis have right now is they drop a Lurk Smoke, they put down another Molly, they're very threatening towards A. And look at this art coming through. You're going to get caught off by Blame F. Another one falls in for Astralis. Yeah, well, that's them looking for info. It's actually re resulted in a two-man discrepancy in round eight. This is when the likes of Keiserado and Yuri really come up trumps, though. You, you mentioned Keiserado as a turret. Well, Yuri is as well. They just sit back, deliver you a juicy little two-piece, and then the round becomes doable. But it is looking like a gamble from Fury as they're backing on up towards the B site. Glaive is the one peering on in towards A main now. Zip, Config, and Farley all flirting deep middle, and Blame holding onto that B push. If they continue this crawl through Donut towards A, we can call the round done. It should be a furious save. When you were looking into uh, the veto likelihoods of this series, did you did you anticipate an Ancient? I, I think one of the things is Furia has a very good win-loss record well, in the last couple of months on this map, so that might deter teams from wanting to play it here. But uh, I, I wasn't quite certain to see where it would head. I know for Astralis, the fact that Dust2 gets banned by Furia helped them out a lot. Right? That means you're not, you're not having to worry in the map pool so much about that one being picked against you. I wasn't sure, sure exactly what Fury were going to pick. There was also a chance that Astralis might have gone for Nuke because remember we had Glaive on the caster desk with us. It was a little bit of a cameo and we asked him about that star because you brought up Zipex getting spam kills through the heart. And uh, he mentioned, yeah, you know, and I think you also related it to Fury and they're like, yeah, well, difficult to play against, but when you look into it, yeah. you should be able to prep for it. So I thought that maybe that prep might come in, but I guess if you Glaive and you make that comment, you wouldn't want to look silly. We should also probably just do a little bit of housekeeping as to this, uh, the gamble stack nature. This is something that has been very vogue for these last two years in terms of playing the percentages, but in a high, like these guys have got so much cash, right? You know, 3v5, they group up and they just look to extend play. You concede one round, but you're going to have a lovely cash stack coming into the following. Yeah, they're buying themselves future rounds, right? So yeah. if things get worse from here on out, then they still will be able to buy it and stay remotely threatening. It's 10K left over for Case Rado after a full buy. Safe's the lowest right now. This is crazy. Yeah, and this is the thing, right? The angle from safe, he was actually looking close. So I think that he was hoping he would get like, the angle that he was holding on top of the box, their legs first, but worked against him here. So a beautiful opener for Farley. And when your Orpa on the T side of Ancient is getting openings, you, you need to convert. Smoke dropped and uh, not going to provide the gap he was looking for, but Config is out. Pressure applied towards mid here early. And you can see Arn on his haunches over towards Donut knows something is impending. Yeah, that's a bit suspicious. He considered the extinguish, but it's been too long. It'd be very obvious, too. They yeah. had full vision there. True, true. Farley, he is ahead of the pack. Oh, both of them tagged up, flashed up, nearly both zipped up. And elsewhere, Safe does shut down another. He catches him on B. Zipex just trying to take a little space and catches an orc bullet to the dome. Farley so low. This is a great start now for the defense, and it can get worse if Glaive caught on the jiggle. Forces are off the line. Oh, he's safe from that. 
He's going to get hunted down. Has called upon Keserato here. Good placement of the cross set, Glaive. Good for it. Trying to overcome this 3v5. Oh. Turned away. Keserato, you can't repeat. Glaive can fight you through. Traded out by Blame. They're making a round out of this, Chad. Yuri's on the fast flank here. He'll be in Donut in no time. They need to get that bomb down ASAP or they're about to be locked on in. Ooh, drop and Blame. This is quite the head-to-head. -head. Oh! Never mind. Loses his head. Straight okay. through the smoke. Blame has turned it on his head. 2v2 now, and it's, if anything, disadvantage for Yuri. Blame's coming into his fight on A. Yuri's dead too. Blame having a big round here. And save. Don't fancy his chances. We talked about why they save. This might be a good indication as to why they're going to lose all their resources. Smoke Donut's great. That's threatening. And Kit's been picked up. He's up another smoke as well here. He's so worried about that A main play, but Blame's gone around the world. So another smoke dropped. If he tries and sits the defuse and finally misses, there's a chance here. Just has to stick it. Just has to stick it. He is missing his shots. Farley last chance. Oh my God, he's under the ankles. And a clutch in air quotes from safe. Smoke and a kit, it's all you need. Oof, bit of a calamity right there, considering the situation. Blame does such a huge job. <laughs> and this was after two openers. Astralis battle back. They get it into a one-on-two in their favor, and then they still drop the ball. Blame getting tricky with it, right? If he was from that main position, would have had a good angle to spam, but going around the world, the multiple smokes picked on up works against him. But other than that, Blame's impact was phenomenal in this uh, one here. see the second shot. Oh, he just didn't stabilize. It was still a little blurry. Eesh. Uh, Astralis is going to be still thinking about that one. That will linger. There's no time I've been taken. We're straight back into round 10. It started all over again. At least they got the bomb down, right? So plenty of cash flowing through the veins right now for the Danes. And again, this three-man B setup. But it, it's passive still. They're not fighting the B lane. They're not taking those aggressive duels. It's giving Astralis so much room to work with here in Glaive and Config. I'm sure they're thinking, well, if we can't find the fights in mid, what are we going to do about this one? Smoke top red house, starting to move config across. Glaive has the bomb. He shouldn't get caught in transition here. But maybe, just maybe, they set up and go for a full B piece, right? If you get all this control on the map, and you can start to pull a player back with this donut smoke. I think it would be punished. Yeah, and here's an example of it. Flash, config walks through. Aren't oh, fully blind, and he readies himself for the repeat. That's what you need out of config. Set him up for success. And now he has Keserato on his screen as well but just losing donut control. Park a T here. You can. Config's on his roam around, though, and safe been summoned to mid. He detailed. Drop still has a smoke here. If they stay to go towards this B site and drop, or throws the smoke down at about 30 seconds, there it is. They're in strife right here. Config needs to get another kill. Yeah, and that's going to put safe back on his line on red. This is the duel. If Config can wrap around, Yuri and drop stays a numbered, but... Going through cave, I think. They're going back through mid. I'm pivoting A. They're going A. And safe. This is the jewel. This is the line in the sand drawn. Config's ready for you if you're brave enough in the sound cue. He hears the orb rotating through. Config will try and activate. Yuri may catch him. Case Arata puts the bomb on the floor. Confirmation of their suspicion. Config delivers and deletes two heads. Looking for a third as well. Doesn't need it. He has done his job and drop left on the wrong side of the map. That was really well done. They didn't get too stressed by that whole situation because those smokes being dropped applied so much pressure. The Astralis decision making and they're chasing drop down, pinned on down and Zipex will get the final kill of the round. But that is some impact right there from Config and that smoke I highlighted earlier, you could see how it was used. You have to question both sides if you're art and the flash was perfect T side. Insta window smoke from Zip, followed up with a couple of flashes. Maybe some more aggression from Furia now. They've been sitting back. Might be time to change the tune. Yeah, it feels like it. Oh, it's definitely got some pace behind this. And that was the fight Config was waiting for. Art wins it out. That is a very ballsy fight to take. Glaive's turn. If you can get away. They've all ran away right now. Glaive has so much space. I don't know if he realizes just how much room he has to work with. They tuck tail, turtled up. Completely. I mean, trying to play the advantage. Blame catches a little flak from the nade. One of their issues is right now, if Astralis do get a kill or two, they can't entry in anywhere and take the space because the bomb is down towards T-spawn. Someone will have to be tasked with picking that up towards the tail end. But they don't want to give up this mid space they've been given. There's so many unknowns, though. That's one of the issues, right? Even if Farley makes it across, a player could have been hiding behind Donut this entire time. And as they creep in towards the red room, they will have to deal with the crossfire that Safe and Art potentially have. They pip the gap and... They're not looking at it. No, not just yet. This timer is going to start to tickle in the back of their head shortly. Safe gave it up. He, he must have said, can come red room. So Art surely going to be responsible for that, given his position. It's almost like he dies and they know they're there because yeah. he's not committing too much of uh, his glances over in that direction until now. The bomb is pivoting towards A. Look at Glaive. Look at this push. 
Okay, Serato. Oh, gets info at least. Can have a fight and does take down Glaive. A big frag to post. A two-man disadvantage and with 30 seconds. What have you got, Astralis? Farley behind enemy lines trying to sell it and delay it. It's just Yuri on B right now. Got so many targets in front of him. Well played from Farley. Another would have gone a long way. Yuri has caught one of the two here on B. You take the plant. Yeah, you take a spray. Ooh. Half health through the boards. Zipex up against four, and they are closing in. Going to play this as a unit. Safe's on his way as well. Drop just gets the info, and they engage together. Just pulling him there, pulling him back and forth between the jewels. You can see the cross there, never really getting a chance to stabilize. And Fury do bounce back, and it was through Ant's aggression in mid. So this was the fight that you wanted to see. It's not necessarily in the way I was expecting it to go down just yet, but Ant going forward, taking out Config, that's impact. The previous round, while well, Config had all the impact. A technical timeout has been called here off the back of this round, so we should get this one underway momentarily. This could be a little bit fast here, Alex. Glaive actually has a Mac 10. They might want to establish B lane control and then execute and brute force their way through any defensive smokes with a couple of flashes of their own. They have gone back to that more, uh, well, I wanted to say it was a 2-1-2 and they're starting to pivot into exactly that. It's gonna be quick, drop. He handled business initially. Can he do it again? A bit of a shy spray and straight through the board. The counter bang. Config draws blood, blames, struggles to finish his meal and oh my lord, drop nearly finishes Glaive. Astralis, they are wounded. And the whole Furious squad is here. Glaive could be a little rascal around the smokes here. Molly fading back to turn. Flashes in and Glaive sprays down hard from behind. Config's good for it. They are low enough. In case Serato not so confirmed as to their health. Otherwise, he might be more interested in going for it. Another save here. And beautiful stuff. See, it was a bit more poppy, a bit more assertive there. They weren't just going for a default spread. They've established what type of defense Fury are throwing their way. And if they're not going to punish them over towards B lane, if they're not going to throw the consistent Molotovs, get the HEs down, be peeking from that cave position, take advantage of that room and get your way into that B site. But how consistent is it that when Astralis are posting a T round with guns, it's config they have to thank again? He had a 3k breaking through middle. This time he's kicked down the door on B. Well, this is one of the things with the Fury versus Astralis matchup. There are two win conditions here for either team. And initially out the gates, they are Art and Config respectively. If those individuals are getting room and getting entry frags, it's going to make life very, very easy. And this one here, Yuri's gone for the wallbang with an AK in hand instead of the Silence Stand 4, right? With that, maybe he would have gotten away with that little maneuver. But Glaive actually taking a page out of Art's playbook right there and getting up close and personal in the smoke. Heavy towards mid with three right now is... Looking to return into more of the standard P setup here. Oh, that's a nice little nade on through. Dunks on the head of safe. Ah, oh, need to smoke that. He's gonna push. Yeah, Glaive coming in. Coming in hot. And the good aim from MP9 spray is gonna be met by Config. Lane is held. Config flashing before his peak. Gets the info. Still a man advantage. Farley extends it. Takes down safe and wow, Zip is taking some liberties. He's up, but he won't be expecting that. Drop still adjusts in time. Yuri in the cave, Molotov Dov. It's a perfectly deep Molly as well. He really can do nothing but wait. And the only question mark is that of Keserato. That's what the utility is concerned about. An instant pop on the CT smoke. And a safe plan from Farley as well, using that pillar to make sure that he can't get tagged on through. Config, this kill will seal the deal. But it is Keserato and Yuri. Oh. Couldn't really have done much more damage than that. No, oh, and I think that caught him a little bit off guard there. It popped on up and landed right in front of his eyes. So I think this one is done and dusted unless Config oversteps the mark. Yeah, his job is containment. And he does go down, but it's not around. It's more about them getting some toes. away. Yeah, nice strafe away. Two rifles saved, but that is consecutive rounds out of uh, Astralis. It's the first time we've seen them win two T rounds back to back since the pistol. And it's a good response because you've got Art up close and personal in middle again, being the fly in the ointment, right? He gets the kill onto Glaive, but they just walk up in towards B lane. So really understanding the defense right now and how they're able to pick the gaps, uh, Astralis. And this is a very good T half already. Six rounds is fantastic. And maybe, just maybe, they could walk away with eight. See here, Farley just... Oof. Catching with the smoke there onto safe. Good shot to hit. And that was the nade. Yeah, hits him for a little bit of damage and then pops in front of his face. Down to 10 HP is poor Yuri. Now, 
a conservative round. So Art's going to purchase on in with an MP9 and some armor, the rest of which is the saved rifles. Oh my into God. Here we go. They are just charging. Hold W. No armor on safe and doesn't matter. Actually takes down Zipex and gets away. Yuri's gone. Another one from the USP. Drop has found ahead. This is getting spooky. Oh my lord, safe. Still a problem. Recovers an AK, sprays down Blaine. Kesarato should be caught. Farley gets him. These are the two on Eco. Drop and safe didn't invest. The other three, the other two had safe guns and <laughs> They've got the three frags. And it should end here. Drop's got a bit too greedy for that one. Wanting to find himself a weapon. Glaive just through patience alone. Look where safe ended up. He went around the world. He pushed out cave, ran back around mid, and, and now he's found himself over towards CT How does spawn. Glaive not have armor with six grand? Ah, I, I, I see. That's a classic right there. It's not going to really hold him back. It's surprising how many absent Kevlars we had here. Farley. As a kit for this. Yeah, and Glaive has no armor. One bullet. The wrong way. Seven for Astralis, but some uh, fruity purchases or absence thereof. Last round of our half. And Astralis, they could even leave with the one, the win, not the one. That's past tense. Oh, it could be the one eventually. Yeah. yeah they... <laughs> or, or the one. Oh, bloody hell, words. Safe, though, did do a lot. Look at this from Drop. Two of them finding them in the chaos. That's the wall, man. They're, they're paper thin, right? That spam is beautiful. You love to see it. But the buyback out, safe into an AWP. MP9s for Art and Yuri, respectively. No defuse kit for the CTs this time round. And Astralis looking good. Pace has worked for them. And now we lose all of it. Well, this is the thing that changing the expectation. There's been so many B plays right now out of the Danes. They are heading over towards A with a contact maneuver. It will be Caserato to have to deal with this. Art in tow from the donut position, starting to slink on back towards CT spawn, and there's so much room to come on through. Very interested to see how Caserato approaches this. This is his sight. He, one final round, he actually gets to try it out. Save from the flash. He's got to choose his swing wisely. Finally, just as he pulls out the nade, Caserato strikes and smokes himself out to reposition aggressively. Could mantle up if he desires. Through mid, Drop's got Config's number and Glaive sprayed down as well. Drop's really been holding his own here. Yeah. Giving some bonuses in the multi-kill department. It has a difficult position there to hold onto that red room as well because you're always doubting if that swing is ever coming. And another double up here just puts them into a two on five number advantage situation. They just need to close on out against Blame and Zipex. Yeah. Not gonna be easy, but... Oh, wow, that wall bank's pretty damn... Juicy. Safe could catch that. Oh, Blame does open up the site with Drops a low combination. Here. Drops really got to pick his engagement wisely. Blame sweeping through. Oh, looks for the bomb. Does not deny Blame's hitting every shot and they're turning it on its head. Three frags out of Blame F. Remember, no kit. Bomb ticking and this Furia. This was supposed to be theirs. Every day of the week, an entry frag with the frag. Blame looks away. He has met by Art, and Zip doesn't really have much help to play with. Into the cave. Caserato's got to get there quick. Time sensitive, and Art clutches up. Wow. Looked like Art, a uh, rather Blame, but Pistol. Looks like they're going the same direction. Can they have the same result? Well, they have similar utility to make this one work here, and Glaive's also bought into some Julies and is playing in K, but it's quicker up the ramp, very fast. Yeah, okay, just go B, as Hampus used to say. Smoked off, Cave denied, and they're in. No deep CT in this variation, but they are charging down lane. Wait, Drop is going for a cheeky one. They're going to assume it's clear. Back to turn, and immediately delete Flame from behind. Art, good for it, or rather Yuri. Wow. That's one way to do it. Might just be a save call here, here, isn't it? Is there. At least Config's in cave. He could cause a, a kerfuffle. You see how late they did it as well? They just smoked off cave and then they dropped that second smoke once they had control of this death cube. A smoke back, a, a flash as well. Wanting to flash forward Farley here into his demise. Better be a good one. Zip. Ah, it doesn't even matter. Art's going to take him down and continues to shoot on through. Zip has hit the deck and it is just one man standing. This round was done and dusted before this attempted retake even begun. Yeah, I guess Cave's just not the one for the CTs on this pistol. Config trying to take a couple with him. Going to be left with just the one. Okay, so they exchange pistols. You can understand the logic behind wanting to play in cave against Glocks, right? I, I, especially with Julies, right? You're hoping to stall them out. You think, okay, the T's, they're going to come, the close fights. But no, just up the B ramp. And because of that, both pistols played out in a very similar fashion. Galil's being purchased on up now. And it, it does look like Astralis are going for a force buy here. Ah, continuing to cause a bit of chaos in the server, up to 15 kills now. Yeah, and four players very vulnerable and susceptible to that safe MAC-10. He's going to want to farm oh. up for a T-side. Oh, where's their health just gone? A couple of nades dropped on their dome right there. They are so low. Problems now for Furia. Oh, they can't afford to slip up here. 
Astralis, they're always threatening, and Blame reminds us of that. A wall bang headshot onto Art through the ledge. One of the healthy ones as well here, safe and drop. They are oh. in a lot of trouble right now. Surely you have to call Keiserato off of his luck, eh? You're gonna need him to, to break through this site. Glaive is even activating on the A-Hall, so it's it's a question of when Keiserato is willing to give this up. If he pushes in here and goes on down, it's surely the round oh, in it itself. Is. It is. Ooh, the punch is vicious. Through the corner of the wall. Bit of a stalemate here, but Glaive's... Well, I thought he was flirting with sticking around. It, it is Yuri and Keiserato who have to do the heavy lifting in this, and the idea of drop and safe just have to stay alive because it's unconfirmed damage with those HEs. Astralis don't know how much damage they've just done. Now, one of the positives is... If it is a B finished with this smoke and, and utility that's left over from Fury up, the pistols can pepper them through and, and take them on down. Farley has another smoke, so as soon as that one starts to fade, he can just drop it and Fury can fall victim to the very same close ramp smoke late. You end up having to go through it grey screen, and that's what we're seeing. Yep, there it is. 30 second mark, another smoke dropped. You're going to have 10 seconds when that fades, boys. Farley wants close quarters D. It's the perfect weapon for these low HP players. Coming through cave, this is almost feeling rinse and repeat to what we've seen. Oh, unless you wall bang Farley out of the cubby. They've cleared it. And now the smokes, they are still and so seconds. vulnerable. How do you get this bomb down? Oh, Yuri's done, managed to hit another screamer. The traces were there and Yuri has bailed them out in a very big way. Two frags from Yuri. Deagle's not good enough. And that is a 10th for Furia, but it was on 10 to hooks the entire time. That kill from drop, spamming him through there is massive, right? Because the crossfire gets he negated right HP, there. Though. So I, I think he must have been maybe wow. taking a lick or two of the flames. We might catch it back here. So Warbang's going either way. That's showing blame how you can spam towards middle. And Yuri, as he peels on in, is just pumping bullets through the smoke, doing his best to guard oh. his mate, Keiserato. So beautiful stuff here as Keiserato will get the final frag onto blame. And when you watch that one back as Astralis, you're going to feel pretty hard done by it. But there's a lot of fans in the fan cams. Yeah, you see the masks as well. We, we, we learned that uh, apparently there's been such a, a common presence from a player or rather a fan called Andre from Brazil. He's always there supporting the Brazilian teams. And so much so that they're now uh, wearing masks of Andre. Andre in, masks? Yeah, to support him. Can you print those at home? I suppose so. It must be self-made. Probably is a template in the Discord. Ollie's probably shipping them out from how Germany. Do, how do we get there again, Chad? It's dsl.gg slash fancamp? That's the one if you want to join the fun. And oh, speaking of fun, Yuri's having more of it. A deep dunk nades. It goes down. Three to find. And Furia will be up to 11 rounds of play here. The bomb yet to be planted. They need to go back and scoop that one up. It's been left over towards the backyard of B during all of this. Looks like Fury are more interested in the frags than the plant. They've completely removed any way out. Safe's in main. Case okay, Rider looking to come through Donut. Drop has CT spawn covered. Maybe they want to allow Art and Safe to come on through it and use these Mac tents to farm, but someone else will have to become responsible for the bomb. There's one. Can't get the second. Config will pick up the Mac 10. He'll be happy with that. Did anyone make the audio track of the ambient sounds on uh, Ancient yet? Oh, with the lo-fi. They must be. You must be able to find that audio file, but it must exist somewhere. Oh yeah. If you hack the mainframe. I haven't been able to hack the mainframe in all my years. No, nor I. I, 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 I did used to uh, flex the IT classes though. About Counter Strike specifically? No, you uh, you open up CMD, you change the text to green. I see. And you full screen it. it kind of looks like you're hacking the mainframe. I see where you're going with there. Okay, bit Matrix esque. Yes, certainly which I'm sure you're all too familiar with. Maybe too familiar with. Well, here we go. About to get into the gunnies. Everyone's favorite type of rounds here. No oh, more. Let me just strap myself in, Johnny. Well, okay. you know who's holding on to the MAC-10? The madman himself. It's not Amanek-10. He's not in the server right now. Or he's not in the team right now. But it is Art, and he can use that very masterfully so. I want to scrim out mid here. It looks like they're coming quick. Yeah, this can be a real biff. Here comes Config versus Art, head to head. Fully blind and executed. Config has handled business. Rushing A still. There's a bit of a gap right now. Yeah, there is. And trying to address it was Glaive. The nade is good. A little damage and combined with the bullets. 50 HP. I think might be on for an ace here. Yeah, he's certainly in the right place. He's going to flash straight through. Coming in hot. Config wanted blood. Loses his life. Drop. Power position here. If they pump the brakes, safe's going on a big flank. Ah, oh, too little, too late. Got to live, and Yuri is caught out. They'll assume, oh, no, they know. Drop is here, and there's four players hunting him down over the smoke. We've got an elevated Zipex. That's the flank he was waiting for. 
And that will pull attention away from that big box. If he could just find another, unable to do so. And so Astralis build on the config opener. We've all been there, right? That situation is safe going, hey, uh, can you live? Uh, and drops like, not really. I don't know. Pro probably, pro probably not. I'll try. <laughs> I'll stay alive for as long as I can. Yeah, those, those questions aren't always easy to answer. And it was a challenge, certainly, created by that uh, double casualty for Fury. We get to see it again. Here it comes. This is kind of almost reminiscent of the... Uh, the main player on Nuke. You just have to beat the timer, you get the good spawn, spray into that vent and squeaky door, and you can leave with a round winning double, or you can go down immediately. Yeah, do you know they threw the nades as well, right? Because players will just run on through that molly. There's one up and over. Another Molotov as well to land at the toes of R, and he's been dissuaded from any mid hijinks early. Glaive and Config stubborn as they want to fight out mid blame. Oh, oh that is oh. nuclear damage right there. Case right on Art. I don't think you're coming through. Blame spamming through, however. He's going to find some damage. Nothing lethal. Back and forth we go. But on the worst for wear side is Furia. They are not stopping this wall bank battle, but... I mean, it's very apparent who's come out on top of it. There's a massive gap at A, which I think Farley's going to go back and deal with right now. But there's so much around the corner and Blame just steps on out. Oh, I did not anticipate that. Look at them all. Look at their HP. Now, last time we had this, Yuri bailed them out. Yeah, I don't know if he can again. It's certainly framed poorly for them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a cut of noise goes down here or actually just a complete relocation. How could you possibly keep these feet planted on B while you take that long journey back to A? That's just not going to be feasible. There's a lot of mystery right now for Astralis, right? You have Config watching middle, but A has been open for a very long time. So you can see the tentative nature that Farley and, and Glaive are having as they creep on back towards the A side. They don't know if someone slipped into Temple, over towards CT spawn, but they'll be in position in time and just a big bad wolf to blow this house down for Furia. Art has one smoke and likely wants to drop that Temple or CT. Kona could, could be a possibility as well. They'll get Keisarata boosted up, gives him some elevation to fight into the site. Look at this crossfire, Config and Glaive. It's going to be really hard to break. And you could blow them over here. 20 HP, a single bullet deals with it. And the round comes tumbling down. Safe walks into the config spray, or rather caught and denied of the plant. Some AKs hoovered up as well. Three Kalashnikovs in Astralis' hands. And Config gets himself up to 20 kills here. So he's had some big impact already on this CT side against the guns with multi-kill rounds. And just well handled here from Astralis, right? I was talking about it last time we saw them play, how dynamic their CT setups have been. Right? It doesn't seem static at all. They're not just rinse and repeating. It's not like a gambit, just sit back and wait. And uh, look, we got a bit of a Farley background there. A Farley fan in the fan cams. Art's gonna buy uh, up to, to an AK. Actually, it's been dropped by Yuri. Yuri has donated an AK for Art. So this is one of those hero maneuvers is they're just running in. Yeah, why not? And already across. <laughs> Art is there. They get the bomb down. This is all right. It is certainly not bad. There's enough of a deterrent in place with the smoke. Full rotation they here. Cancelled the plan. Knocked off the plan. That priority is killing Glaive, and Glaive has just decided he's not having any of it. Get off of my sight. And they will not get a thing out of that. Well responded to. Astralis, for a moment, looked like they had been caught out in that uh, absent uh, A. I, I, I'm playing Fury. Playing the Furious. Yes, and it works. It's pretty, pretty legit, right? So, Ooh, Config charging. We're going to get that head-to-head -head again. Art really is trying some funny business. Baits the shots through the smoke. They leap through, and an exchange of information leaves Fury with mid. Glaive's here. One-way dropped. He wants to peek around that, and he does find Keiserato. Puts him lower. The weapons juggle. There you go. Give me my tech nine. Thank you. Well, he's already profited. Yep. Perfect example. And he gets one with Titan Hollows. Oh, he did get one with Titan Hollows. Config 21 and counting, boys. He has double anyone else on his team's scoreline. This is what you need. This is what you want. What you request of Config in that Astralis jersey. He's been one of those conversations of Danish Counter Strike for a very long time. Reagress now up in towards Cave from Zip and Blame. And while stalled out towards the top of the ramp, his drop, you can see the smoke just obscuring his vision here. But it feels like they have to do what Astralis was doing, just try and finish B. See if they can get on in. Slither Gap held. Big shot oh. hit. Wow, Zip. Perfect from Zipex. Sends Fury out completely out of round 22. Yuri trying his luck, but he's walking straight into the Blame domain. Perhaps not. Zip doesn't want to be susceptible to the wall bang, and Farley is good for the frag. Just case Serato. And he's got three different three different angles. Where's a free B? And yeah, Glaive's posted on him. Farley doesn't need to fight. And he baits the shot. Oh, he's playing some video games. Just not quite the victorious kind. 
Eleven, eleven. What's your wish? I wish this one keeps going because I'm actually really enjoying the, the different CT setups we're getting here out of Astralis. I, I hope that Fury don't just roll over here. The T side, we know how difficult it can be, but they are feeling like they're getting bullied now. They're not getting away with any space in mid. And if you contrast these two CT halves, remember how much room Furia would guarantee this if you are Furia is to take some pace out. But look at R. Uh, look what he's bought right here. Bit of a pump action shotty as they uh, get burnt oh. on down. Oh, that's something out of case, Arata, but the cave fight has been one and so has the round as quick as it came it's gone yeah so just to continue that conversation i think that fury have to pump the brakes yeah because there's a lot of ct utility being used early now australis could always now change their tune operate with something a little bit different here yuri and safe are going to walk into their demise file should be good for both we talk about conditioning you know like i oh just i agree that that's something fury should be doing as the ice wall was put up by uh yuri sage there that one's a bit higher. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah. he has a bit of a buff, actually. Yeah, new patch. Might have collected all the orbs. Yeah, the whole game changed, actually. Are they called orbs? Uh, the spheres. The spheres. The glowy things that give you your ultimate. That they said early on, we're not leaving. Chat, Bat, Birchall, Birchall. Counter Strike is here, and we are loving. Sure, it tells that story. Yeah, Blame's got almost 400, and he's the B defender. You've got yeah. Zipex over there with him as well, close to 100. Everybody else, at least in the 200 mark. And here it is again, chunked on down. K Serato chipped away at the deep door smoke in play over towards B, and maybe just maybe a chance to breathe. K Serato goes on down, and they try aggression again. Blame throws his one way consistently in these last few rounds. Apparently, more than one way to skin a panther here. They don't need to just get config up in the grills. Config's ratting the smoke. Ah, oh. I'd have heard that. Yeah, well, he knows now. Config can tuck in. He will maintain mid control. And it's unlikely to be Molotov down. Art can be so concerned about Donut. Safe's not going for a ledge peak either, so they won't have that different elevation they for this. They clear their corners here. That's the big question it mark. Is a huge question mark. I mean, Config can win the round if he's not. Glaive's trying to even be a little bit of a bait. And Config does reveal himself. Safe's gone. More to come. They do overrun, but Farley's here, and oh, there should be a frag for Farley. Should being the operative word. He's got to be concerned about ledge as well. Drop, bring in, and deleted. Fury, they just can't get the ants out of their pants. They uh, want to keep this moving. Aggression here. He's going to catch Art off guard. Art might get past him, sure, but the bomb will go down. It'll give a sound cue, unless Glaive keeps on pushing. Okay, oh. hold up a second. Hmm. He's in, and he won't be punished immediately here. If he smokes off Donut, Farley can't do anything with the AWP. The jig's up now. The bomb's getting planted. <laughs> this is a change. In the last five rounds, they haven't been able to plant, so Glaive's going to be here to respond, but maybe Art's ready for this. I will be eventually. Oh, just considered it safe from it. Glaive didn't spot it. Art doesn't oh. either, and yeah, Glaive, good for the frag. But a bomb plant, as you highlighted, that is going to be a bit of a deviation from the norm. We've been having... Five consecutive for Astralis. This is the sixth, but slight difference being an extra 800 bucks for everyone involved. And you can see exactly what that's going to do. Config into the big green now. Must be feeling himself on that one. Yeah, that is a, something a bit different. And they surely can't continue this pressure mid. Yuri's taking chip damage again over towards B, and they're stalled out early. Blame. Utility exchange. Him and Yuri have been having quite the head-to-head -head here. Blame's no stranger to the wallbang lineup. There is a gap. Big gap. If Blame got pushy. So he's trying to bait them in, just shoots a couple of shots and then checks the line. A very key position that Blame is holding here. If they can deal with him, they can start to apply a lot more pressure to Zip. Top ramp smoke dumped already. So this is very early, a minute 10 on the clock. And Furia, by taking the pace out, they're giving themselves an opportunity to work into this round now. Can isolate blame here. Or oh, he can take a head. Nicely handled. They will have to hard clear him. And they will get caught. Config's put the AWP in the feed, but both of the B players now down. It falls to Glaive. Trying to be that safety net. In this three on three. Timing is everything on this next engage. Nice find. Takes down Art on the swing. Replaces the util to cage them in cave. 35 and counting. Just drop and save the two new names. They don't have com confirmation. You can see Config still leans towards A. So it is a 2v2. Make it a 1v2. His drop caught. Farley is on long side. Glaive ready for this engagement. 20 seconds. He's on a timer. This is the fight. And Farley's not going to let it slip. Astralis edging closer and closer. They can't seem to go down.
Seven in a row now from Astralis. It looks like this might be a shutout here as well. This time, no plant, meaning everybody's shy besides safe from a full buy. Art's bought into some Kevlar here. And remember, they don't have any more timeouts that they can call. This was great from Blame. And then Zip was there trying to bait, trying to bail him out for a few more, but it's all right. You have safety net in Glaive to make sure that mess is mopped on up. And they're cleaning house now, Astralis. Frustration from Art. Yeah, it's boiling over now. Keserato fully invested, and look at the damage again, just chipped away at you, running straight in, and Art, oh my lord, he's pulled an Art maneuver out of nowhere. Another body dropped, Glaive cleared, mid open, and look at him, he's already in red room for the rotate. With an AWP no less, Farley not going to be ready for that engagement. Art takes matters into his own hands. The frustration, demonstration, but not clear in his corners. And our Zipex at least makes the round interesting. Caserato could be caught as well, but Zip, he'll upgrade the weapon. Bomb now down on A. Are they looking for a save here? Yeah. Blame going around the world in towards T spawn, and Zip wants to join him now. They haven't been able to scoop up many of these guns, right? Because it all went interest. down towards mid. This is the thing. There's still lots of cash for the likes of, uh, of Config, Glaive still with 10k. It looks like they're going to hold on. I, I felt that uh, maybe give it a bit of a crack here, give it a bit of a look in, but not to be the case. And if you're Fury, you want to grab these weapons that were just thrust to the ground. You know there's an AWP. You know that there's a couple more guns that you can scoop on up towards the Red House room, and they're combing through now to do exactly that. AWP scavenged. What else can you find? It's an AK there for safe, and it looks like it will be Yuri, the only one to walk away with. Ah, I was going to say nothing. An M4 picked up in the final throws, and they do get around, and it was through mid-aggression. Art with the opener onto Config, and it's actually K. Serato's kill through the smoke that was the one that really left a bomb site extremely susceptible. Because if Glaive stays alive, maybe he can rotate back and cause a bit of chaos. So big stuff here out of Fury to get themselves on the board. They break the spree of seven. He was, he was just pre-firing as he rounded the corner. Really well played, and uh, that's just a slight glimmer of hope now for Furia. Yeah, do that again. Can you replicate that success? That is the question. You know, that's not a fight you're going to win every Ryan. time. I say that with bated breath. The orbs are there, the smokes are too. Config's coming through. Oh, just dips into the smoke. Oh. Config's not going to be ready for this, and he hits the no-scope. Ah, oh, trying to wrap the smoke. Farley's handling business on A as well. Safe, would punish a repeak. Farley wise to his game. Smokes are up, Molly exchanged. And you have to reset, but look at how quick these rounds are ending. Blame's already pushed through your elbow and has gone down to Yuri. But what was a 5v2, whittled away to four, but so much time. I, I can't believe that Config risks pushing through that smoke with an AWP, gets to take a shot, gets away, and then hits the no-scope. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he must have, like, uh, cottoned on to Art pushing the smoke when he did take that little bit of a swing. Looked from the X-ray that he was obscured by the smoke. Safe. Spots out zip. Oof. Warning shot fired here. And he's pushing up with the bomb right now. There's two to deal with. Yuri's trying to take space now towards middle. He might catch Config. It's timing is everything. Oh, Config's not going to let that slip. 28 now for the Star Fragger. And secondary Orba in the off angle is zip. Makes it 15. Well, back to square one. Yep. And this is great for Fury to pick up the previous, but then to fall flat immediately back by almost rinsing and repeating the exact same strategy just with rifles. Glaive, an absolute nuisance. And I thought that it was Config who got that kill. I don't know how he picked it up, but it was Glaive to get it. So pardon me as Ali shuts them down as they do try and find that space. Accounting for it this time were the Danes and just one away from picking up map number one here within the quarterfinal. Mirage next and Nuke the third if we do need it. So concerned about middle this time, Fury and Config. What are you cooking? He likes to live in this smoke. Okay, Serato making it very clear, very apparent. He's not assumed that there's anyone occupying it. Config is being so naughty here. Oh, oh, well, he decided he'd like to let them know. Baits him in, confirms his presence, and finally has shut down drop. That has been an AWP exchange, and now Zip has been called upon. Should be able to be good for the first, and not the second. Through okay. the smoke, safe slaps him. That was the bomb. That will force a rotate. No, I say rotate. It's Glaive who's already got there. And, and you know, Blame is traditionally a B-holder as well, right? So this is now whirring into the minds of Fury here. They've got Caserato and Yuri still alive alongside of the AWP of safe, and they're just hitting the brakes right now, hoping that there is a bit more aggression coming on through. Blame, during all of this, has bided his time and been actually... Able to pivot on back. He's playing passively on the B site. Glaive now tasked with A. And the question is, how far forward does Glaive go? Does he want to search out for info and just allow Blame to sit and wait? 
He's moving over towards Donut now. So you can see him piecing this one together, grabbing more and more information to feed towards Blame to let them know if the attack is likely coming. Neither team with a lot of utility. One flash for Blame, one smoke for Caserado right now as Caserado and Yuri are worming through Cave. It's all on Blame. He can win this. He uh, certainly can. And this is the angle that they've been caught out with before. Oh, gets the first and is shut down. That should leave room for a bomb plant. Glaive should really give this one a go. It's pretty winnable as far as a 1v2 situation. Has them both defined, has made steps. Looks like he's been heard. They're considering both of his entry points. Doesn't seem too concerned about CT. Here comes Glaive. Okay, Serata, the healthier of the bunch. Safe, likely to take first contact, and he will have to give it a tickle. Diffuse, no one's committing, no one's committing! Oh, falls off it, just in time to make it a 1v1, tries his luck again, just Glaive has... Oh, he's giving it up. We're so concerned, Caserato, the double cave play, extends play. Nice shooting, Glaive goes down with the bomb, takes everyone with him. He's got plenty of cash in the coffers, so that is a little punishing. But it was the last round, he gave it all it had. It's actually pretty important because they deny Save having that AWP, and he had a banger of a shot through the smoke there on entry up through that B ramp. So important to deny the AWP going forward here for Furia. Uh, but on the other side of things, they haven't opted to get one into the hands of Farley. So this mid exchange, it got awkward, but picking back out was Config giving up his life over to Kay Serato. You can see Safe there onto Farley, another one coming on through, and Kay Serato starting to warm into things now. 17 kills for him as we're back underway. It is this 1-4 spread from the T's with Kay Serato tasked with holding mid. The other four trying to get this P lane control, and I think Art wants to go through this. Extinguish implies. Zipex is staring at it. Forced into cave. Lots of room for Art to stretch his legs. He's got all his util on his back, but he's just going to count on drop. Oh! Gets them both. Huge impact from drop. Likely to go down. Art's already met Glaive's M4. Could spiral. Is Farley's put safe down? I have to be a save call here for Astralis. They're going to go for it. Two of them, 20 HP, drop, can get more here. 17 bullets in the mag, Glaive, if he was to peek, it would be a hard shot with 5 HP. And now hard to plant, hard to plant, one bullet would do it. The spread, the nades are there and denied. Okay, okay, Serata, you have started to look warm. You know he hides and resides and, oh my god, Glaive lives on. First bullet connects and distracted, Config will finish it.